Hey guys, 54 News here, and this is going to be a tutorial on how I move stuff from Unity over to Copper Cube. Um, uh, first update on why I'm doing this. I really like Copper Cube, and Unity is one of the best engines I've seen. It's seriously Unity. Uh, I mean, there's some argument for Torque, but some people are saying that's like a, a 90s engine, but uh, I've worked with Torque. Uh, Unity is probably one of the most versatile engines in indie friendly. Unreal is just that it's like Unreal. Uh, some of the it tech engines are really nice, but Unity allows it to be, while not perfectly given to you easy, it is easy enough for people to go onto YouTube and learn. And while I'm not a master of Unity, it is pretty easy to uh, use. I choose Copper Key because while it's not yet j as jam packed as Unity and in um, the Copper Cube that I will be using Copper Cube 5, there is uh, going to be more Unity features. So think of Unity 2 or 2.5. It still wasn't hugely jam packed, but it had a lot of features and add to the fact that Copper Cube already has Android uh, exportation and iOS and all that stuff. It's pretty much an almost 3.0. A engine once it has the uh, shaders and all that stuff implemented in the summer and once uh, Copper Cube 6 comes out it's pretty much going to be guaranteed to uh, be pretty similar to um, Unity. Still not as epic but in a sense it is still pretty much just like it. Okay so uh, I have my sci-fi pack up. I like this wall and I want to move it into a scene into my Copper Cube. Uh, engine. So uh, this wall is wall 2. So I have it viewed. I'm going to go to actually the source, the models, and go for wall 2. So here it is. I can see it in the viewer. I'm going to say show and explore. So here we go. We have an explorer. And it's an FBX. Now in the new blender, you can actually import FBX. So that's what I did. Uh, what I usually do is I will copy where the source is and it's wall 2 and then I'll go import model FBX. Here we go, we already have it but I'm going to paste it anyway. And then uh, I'm going to I'm going to do pipe 1 just to show you guys. And then I usually right click on it so I can add the texture and then here is the texture for the pipe. Um, actually, let's actually import something. So I'm going to import something. I'm going to do FBX. And I want a cable. <coughs> so cables. And that's a frame. Those are glowing bits. And we can actually do those in our own, in our copper cube engine. Uh, wires on the ground. Not something too short. Uh, that'll do. Cable 5. Go back into Blender. We're going to do Cable 5. And there we go. I'm going to delete this piece because I already have it in the engine. We're going to right click on that. And then I'm going to go... Whoops. There we go. Textured it. So, yeah, as you can see, it's low poly and all that stuff, but it's really, really nice. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to export it as a 3DS. I really like 3DS. Um, so I'm going to do um, wires. Are they wires? Cable. We'll do cables. And I'll underscore 5. So I'm going to keep the same name. And... And then we're going to go into our copper cube engine. I'm going to insert, import a static mesh, and then it's going to be if I input it into the right area. Export 3ds games. Static mesh. 
cables five there we go right in front of me and then what I'm going to do is go to materials I highlight the texture that I want I then put it on I didn't say normal map and then put the normal map to it and then I will actually place it but first I'm going to go to modify selection and center uh, the pivot point to the middle of it and I'm going to rotate this to where I want it. I'm also going to shrink it so I'm going to I want it down by half just to see what it would look like and then I'll work from there so I'm going to copy that and just paste it a couple times there we go. What I would also like is glow feature um, the copper cube engine So I can have like I can do sparks and do a sort of glow effect already in a 2D program or a paint program added to, as a texture, but it so it doesn't do the same. So there we go, and then I'm going to actually duplicate this a couple times. And then I'm gonna put some wires somewhere else. So I'm gonna say set that to zero. Oops. That size. Rotation? Yeah, zero. Okay. Oh. Clicked on the wrong one. There we go. So that's zero and then just I wanna move it over here. And then I'm gonna size one up, so I'm gonna say almost the full size. So let's do eight, so 0 0.8 instead of 1.0. There we go. That's almost full size. And it's not showing out the other side, so we're good. There we go. And then collision, no, we don't want any collision on this. Okay, I've duplicated that, I didn't want to. No collision, uh, no collision on that one. There we go, this is the wall I was looking at. probably add some sparks. So I'm going to set this item to be affected by gravity. Um, direction, negative three. So it's automatically falling to the ground. Okay, and I'm going to go to my uh, pictures and select a uh, spark texture so be right back okay so this isn't specifically a spark texture but it's a flame texture and it will do you can actually I believe do gifs or not gifs but uh, uh, an animated texture too um, let's size this down to so 0 0.3 And then emit area is going to be three by three by three. There we go. So it's more of a spark texture. Um. Max particles to a hundred.
fade out, yes. Fade out to white? Let's see what that does. There we go, that's good. And I'm gonna save it. Okay, and okay, now we're going to publish this and see what it looks like. Okay, so here's our scene before. This is where the dropship comes in, and it's gonna have a um, like a vaulted roof on it. So we're gonna open up the door. There we go, and the door closes. As you can tell, I see we can now open it. Going upstairs, open up the door, close the door, open up the door again. We got some uh, sun cylinders now, or uh, objects in the area now. We got our wires and our spark now. again not the most graphical but it does work and for those who are new to 3d game creation this engine does allow you to uh, use it quite easily and the next thing that's actually gonna come up is animation so I'm gonna get some characters and then we're going to actually move them into the engine um, and have them animated uh, I'm thinking in here or you know, through here. So, and then you're going to go to an office, pick up a mission, and then actually carry on with the rest of the game, which is going to uh, entail a new um, environment assets. And we're going to. Which you come back here, get into your ship, and carry on with your mission. So, again, guys, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye, guys.